In this tutorial we're actually going to build something, we're going to build a stylized city. Um, let's start with our default scene, um, the default blender scene such as we saw in the first tutorial. The cube here we don't actually need so we hit the delete key and then confirm, remember confirm with left click erase selected. So now we just have the lamp and we have the camera. Just check here that we're in the top view in this section here. If we left click we actually move around our 3D cursor, that's that little target there. Hit the space bar and this menu comes up and you can add a mesh which is an object and we're going to add the plane as you saw there. Plane being a flat surface. The yellow dots are vertex points and they're all selected so we press the W key and then hit subdivide. W subdivide three times and that subdivided the mesh. If you hit the tab key now, that takes it out of edit mode. And you can see that it doesn't look any different. Hit tab again and you see the actual vertexes. If you press the A key now, while you're in the um, tabbed mode, that is the editing mode, that deselects all of the vertexes. Let's change to the solid view. You remember how to do that. And now we can see we're still in edit mode. Now if you middle mouse click and drag you can scroll these button windows across. Look at these options down here. What we're actually um, interested in here is the select mode. We want to actually go into, uh, first of all we want to deselect the limit selection to visible. Deselect that button there and select the face select. This will actually then allow us to select literally just the faces the, of, you'll, you'll see. Now if we middle mouse drag and scroll we can see the um, view in, in a more 3D view and it looks kind of unreal. Middle mouse click and drag that window at the bottom there and we change to a perspective view. Still in the edit mode if we right click on uh, the face it becomes selected. Press the E key and you get an option there to extrude and we're going to extrude the region. E key, extrude, region, drag the mouse up. Try this, it's easy. E key, extrude, region. Remember, it's right click first onto the face to select it. Press the E key and confirm extrude region. We just go around here deciding, and if you change your mind, you just press escape before you do the left click to confirm. So once again, it's right click on the face you want, press E to extrude, click to the region part, we're extruding the region and just drag up, it'll automatically drag up 90 degrees to the, um, to the face and then we, you can see we're starting to build a stylized city, you can uh, click with the middle mouse button and drag around to see the view, see it viewed from different angles to check the heights of the city blocks, the tower blocks that you're making and just continue building your own version, I'm just doing this fairly randomly, fairly quickly, it's not hard, it's not rocket science as they say once you get your head around what's going on, you can do great things in Blender with very simple things. That's what I'm aiming to show you here today. E key to extrude, remember. Check on the right hand side if you're not sure what buttons pause this video. You know, take your time building this. You don't have to do it as fast as I'm doing. I'm just trying to make sure I can cram as much on this CD as I possibly can. Now that one's a bit low, so I've already confirmed it, but it doesn't matter. I can still select it. I just E and just add another block as it were on top of that city. Okay, that's, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now I'm going to change the view to a top view. And this is interesting because now you can see the difference between the orthographic view, which is like um, a technical view if you like, and the perspective view, which is a more natural view. You see the difference there. You can actually see that those are tower blocks. So let's. We, the things we want to do next is to duplicate. So we'll change the view back to orthographic and then it looks completely flat. Um, if we now... Um, go out of edit mode by hitting the tab key you see you know it looks like a flat, flat plane again but we know that there's actually um, tower blocks on there there's blocks objects on there now you do shift and D which we did in the previous tutorial to duplicate if you click the middle mouse button and drag that will restrict it to whichever direction you started to move the rotate is done by pressing R and rotate so we shift duplicate shift D to duplicate put it in position, R to rotate. The reason I'm rotating is we're using the same bit of city but if we rotate it round it'll look a bit different and people won't notice. It's all about tricks. Shift, duplicate, drag it across, um, press R to rotate. Well, let's just Actually if you hold down the shift key while you're uh, moving you actually get a finer control. That's a good trick to note for, for close. We're not worrying too much about accuracy here. It's a very coarse kind of 
building that we're doing you know now if you click the middle mouse button and drag now uh, move it off the 90 degree to the viewport if it as it were you can actually see we've got a bigger city and it looks fairly random you wouldn't necessarily without careful study know that that was made out of the same section duplicated four times now at the moment although we're uh, dragging it around if we um, rotate individual sections these are all separate uh, entities and what we actually want to do is to uh, just for convenience and to show you how to do it we don't have to do it but we can let's change it into um, wireframe view and you can clearly see then that we've still got these four separate sections separate objects separate meshes if you like and we right click on each one to select them what we want to do now is actually we're going to join all these together hold down the shift key and right click again you select multiple objects so now we've got all four of them selected and the next trick is next key keyboard shortcut to learn is control J if you hold down control and press J you get this pop-up join the selected meshes if you think oh I've done it wrong you move the mouse away and clear that but let's do it now we've created this city as a single mesh if we rotate and then press escape just to confirm that it's now just one mesh ready for further editing if we wanted to or um, viewing um, which is what we're going to do now we're actually going to view this solid and we're going to place the 3d cursor carefully um, you see where the camera is at the moment the camera is looking kind of down into one corner um, eventually what we want to do is to be able to easily navigate around this city drive in and out of the city blocks as it were with the camera to choose our view so I'm just going to actually ready for our next tutorial we're going to place the um, the 3d cursor at the top of one of these buildings somewhere near the center now if you look you can actually uh, carefully place it by looking at a top view carefully place the cursor look at the side view to get the height um, the camera as you can see which I've now selected right click to select the camera that's looking down at the moment just on one corner now we can rotate the camera manually and move it but it would be nice if there was an easier way of doing this which is what we'll cover in the next tutorial if we look at the view from the front over here if we change the view now um, change the view to camera with number pad 0 or view and choose camera we can see the camera view there just a reminder if you're producing a 3d uh, or sorry if you're going to produce an animation for output to video be aware that these dotted lines are there for a purpose the inner one is definitely going to be in view and the outer dotted line there's a possibility that might not be in view on a standard video screen I think there's a technical word for it I just call it the unsafe area <laughs> um, if we now render that scene we can click the render button here which is another way of producing a render we saw earlier we can do it by also produce, uh, clicking uh, the F12 key and uh, if we do that now just to see how it comes out we can see it overlaid there just about um, there's no material set up on there no no um, color it's just the default gray it's just a basic object against the background and then the next tutorial we're going to change all that and we're going to make it look much better so come with me to the next tutorial